Hello guys, my name is Coding Vampire. Question number 8. Write a program to calculate the average marks obtained by a student in the subject Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. Each paper was out of 100 marks. So, first step is we we'll include the header file iostream.h hash include conio.h then we'll write void main parenthesis open the curly brace clear screen now instead of now I have to declare variable to find the average of the three subject we'll have to find first of all the sum of marks in all the three subject divided by three so instead of the data type integer I'll use a data type float this data type is used to store number with, uh, having decimal part so first I'll declare a memory location called sum comma answer okay so what will happen So the compiler would create a memory location sum comma answer the name of the first location is sum answer and they are of the data type float now I'll tell the user enter the marks obtained in the three subject go to a new line sorry instead of in, uh, now I'll create more three memory location for storing marks in physics chemistry comma mathematics uh, so the first, what first keep the mark in the memory location called P, then C, then M. So I'll find the sum of the marks obtained in physics, chemistry, and mathematics by adding them. So P plus C plus M. Now to find the average of the of um, marks obtained by the student answer is equal to sum divided by 3 followed by a semicolon and I'll display the average marks C out slash n average marks is less than less than answer get ch and close the main body of the program I want you to write what are the multi line comment what are literals and type of literal now I'll compile the program and I'll run it enter the marks obtained in three subjects 78 67 88 so the average marks is 77.66664 so the next question is write a program to calculate percentage of a student the subject include physics chemistry mathematics computer science and english each paper was out of 100 marks so i'll open turbo c++ again and i'll clear the previous program so i'll write a comment first percentage first step is to include the header file hash include iostream.h then hash include conio.h then I'll write void main open the main body of the program clear screen I'll declare total 5 variable for subject 
uh, for storing marks obtained in five subjects and to find the sum and answer. So first physics, comma maths, comma chemistry, comma CS, comma English, comma sum, comma answer, followed by a semicolon and there of the data type float that is they can store number with decimal point so i display on the screen enter the marks obtained in the five subjects go to a new line so whatever the user will enter first keep that in the memory location p then m then C greater than greater than then C S E okay now I'll find the sum of marks obtained all in the five subject sum is equal to P P plus M plus C plus C S plus E now to find the percentage answer is equal to sum by total marks is 500 multiplied by 100 so now you can see 500 by 500 is nothing but 5 now I'll put a semicolon C out slash n per percentage of the student is less than less than answer get ch then close the main body of the program i'll compile it then i'll run the program enter the marks obtained in five subjects so 78 89 85 67 66 so the percent of the student is 77 Okay, so the next question is write a program to generate the following output 5, 10, 9. So what we have to do in this program, we have to declare a variable whose value is 5. Then multiply it with 2 to generate 10 and subtract 1 to generate 9. Okay, so first step we will is to include the header file. Hash include iostream.h then include conio.h then we will write void main parenthesis clear screen now we have to declare a variable called int a and it is initialized to 5 so in this pro uh, in this statement int a is equal to 5 The compiler is creating a memory location. The name of the location is A. It will store a data type int. And in the program itself, the compiler is keeping a value 5 in the memory location. So this is a initialized variable. Now to produce the following output, I'll type C out, see the uh, output is 5, 10, 9. C out less than less than A. So whatever is in the memory location A will be displayed. So as you can see it is dis initialized to 5. So 5 would be displayed. Then less than less than. I want to go to a new line. So I'll within single code I'll write slash n uh, let me write a single line comment here that in the section non graphic character there was a note that a single escape sequence represent a single character and what is character constant character constant are enclosed in single code so therefore you can write a non graphic character within single code now again I'll less than less than what I, what I want I want to display 10 so I'll write a star 2 that is nothing but 10 then again I want to go to a new line and display me a star 2 
minus 1. Now I'll close the program. Okay. So I want you to write a multi line comment. What are non graphic character? Now I'll compile the program. So it is displaying me the following output. So that was in this tutorial. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.